And I'd like to welcome Dr. Christoph Thien to the show. He used to work for Greenpeace and now works for Test Biotech, a nonprofit organization that casts a critical eye on GM technology and its possible effects on humans and the environment. Now, how would you actually judge it? What's better, genetic engineering or the massive use of insecticides? Well, both are a problem. I would not give a priority to one way or the other. There are massive problems with the olive flies, especially under certain climate conditions, like this year. You will have massive attacks on the olive flies, and we do not have a patent solution, a final solution for this problem in the end. If you are starting with genetically engineered olive flies, you will have the problem that you cannot keep them under control. They will fly above borders, they will go to the organic farmer, and you never can withdraw them from the environment if something goes wrong. Mm -hmm. So this kind of long-term exposure to the environment and long-term risk It's not so with insecticides, there are other risks with insecticides. Yeah, of course, there are ecological risks, the consequences for the ecology are pretty disastrous. So if you have to judge it, you'd really say we, at the time right now, we'd rather use insecticides? I would rather go to the um, concept of the okay. organic farmer, maybe. <laughs> They have these uh, traps for olive flies mm -hmm. and try to collect the olive flies um, or, or distract them from the olives and go into this trap. Mm -hmm. and then collect the dead uh, olive flies from the olive garden. But of course, under massive um, um, growing populations, like this year, under the specific climate conditions, this might not work for one year. So you, you have to wait for a better yeah, uh, environment. And next year, that's, of course, some kind of difficulty, an economical difficu difficulty also for the organic farmer. Well, in a way, it's a similar approach because both times we actually try to uh, make the olive fly disappear from the ecosystem. With your biological traps, it's actually just on a smaller scale. So um, what do you think? Um, would it be disastrous for the ecosystem if there was no olive flies anymore? I think we have to work with biodiversity and not try to extinct a certain species. If the concept of Oxitec would be right, this would be mean in the end that the olive fly will disappear completely. As long as they're genetically engineered olive flies, they will mate with the native population. So in the end, the concept is distinction. Mm -hmm. And I don't think we have the right, ethically, we do not have the right to, to, to distinct a whole species just of economic reasons. Yeah. And on the other hand, this will have huge consequences for the ecosystems. Tell me. If you make a, a species disappear, it will uh, raise uh, consequences for the food web. Well, this uh, kind of organism has a certain function. Mm -hmm. Or other pest insects might jump into the ecolog ecological system, which did not play a role before. We see all this kind of, 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 yeah. of consequences already from other technologies, and we can expect that this will also be one of the consequences of this. And in the end, of course, you have the question, will the genetic condition of this olive fly be, will be stable over many, many years? You don't know when the experiment will end. It will it be stable for 100 years. We don't know. So Actually, that's we, we, whole... have, we have lots of experience with genetically modified organisms in the field of plants. I mean, in large parts of the world, the corn plants, soy plants have been genetically uh, modified. Um, and we haven't seen those dramatic uh, consequences for the ecology. Yes, we see some consequences, but yeah. this might be some other um, discussion. But there is a, di a basic uh, um, difference in the concept that genetically engineered plants are not supposed to leave the fields. Yeah. And there will be har harvests after one year. So this is much more under control in some, some um, let's say, a perspective um, than the olive fly, which is uh, supposed to go to the environment, to mate with native populations. It's completely different. So we have to be careful there. Thanks a lot for the talk, Dr. Christoph Thiel. Thank you.